now four and two without Kobe Bryant. Um, probably be out tonight again against the Warriors. What do you expect when he returns? I expect Kobe to return to the Kobe of old. Um, you know, he's a league MVP candidate. 16th year in the league, still averaging 27 points a game. Mm -hmm. Kobe Bryant believes in himself. I think if there's anything, if there are any modifications that may kick in, he may see that he has to feed the big boys just a little bit more because of how they play when they're touching the ball more and how much that energizes mm -hmm. it. See, when, when, when Skip or anybody else talks about Kobe jacking up shots, what they're missing is that a lot of times he feels he has to. Because a lot of times, I never forget this, I'll tell you a quick story, Skip, and it's relevant to this. Allen Iverson, years ago, he's playing with Philadelphia, and Larry Brown is going crazy because Allen Iverson won't pass the ball. And Allen Iverson said, Stephen A., let me tell you something. He said, huh, it's 24 seconds on the shot clock, right? I said, yeah. He said, it takes about 8 to 10 seconds to get the ball over half court, right? He says, I said, yeah. He says, about 16 seconds. He said, you give it to me, I pass it to Eric Snow. He gives it to Tyrell Hill, gives it to Dikembe or George Litz. He said, if it gets back to me, evidently you didn't want it. What you want me to do? I got about five seconds to make a decision. And I always remember that story because it applies to every guy with a scorer's mentality in the game of basketball. They're looking at a 24-second shot clock, basically 16 seconds in order to make something happen. And they're saying, wait a minute. I'm the scoring machine. I'm the franchise. And I passed you the ball, and you have the audacity to make sure it gets back to me instead of doing something with it when you had the chance? That's on you. That's what Kobe was doing all of those times. But since he's been out, Bynum's balling the way that he's balling. Mm -hmm. We see that. So, yeah, you might sacrifice four or five shots, or you may not even have to because if he's rebounding more, not allowing offensive rebounds by the opposition, getting out on a break, et cetera, et cetera, with Ramon Sessions pushing the ball up the yep. floor, suddenly you can feed the beast and you realize it doesn't cost you your game. You still get your shots. You still get your plays called for you. I spoke to Mike Brown the other day. He said, listen, we're getting the balls to the big boys. We're getting the ball to the big boys more. He said, but we haven't sacrificed. He said, we actually have plays for Kobe, obviously, and Kobe will continue to get his shots, so it shouldn't be a problem. Very interesting. So what do I expect? Mm -hmm. I expect just what you just said. Kobe will try to return to being Kobe. It, it's not a matter of sitting and watching and saying, you know, we're a little better if I could pound that ball inside to those two bigs, especially to Andrew. Right. It's one thing to see it, and it's another thing to go do it when you're Kobe Bryant 16 years in. And, and it's amazing to me that going into the Western Conference playoffs, Kobe has become the X factor in the playoffs because I don't know if he can blend back into what they've had because I was kidding, half kidding with you earlier in the show. They have been pretty good without him. For a while last night into the second quarter, I was sitting back thinking, man, they look good without Kobe. And then the Spurs just blew him off the floor. I never think okay. like that. Okay, but, but they won some games impressively. And they I won still never San think Antonio, like that. And they, they won, they beat the Mavericks. It's fool's but goal. you're not suggesting okay. that they're better without no, but him. I'm saying it's a whole different basketball team without him. And when Kobe or Allen Iverson steps back on the floor, th th they don't want the hot potato anymore because they defer to him. He's still going to shoot 25, 30 shots a game. It's, what, it's who he is and has always been. And... Yet, I, I was intrigued. We didn't hear the other part of the interview with Cheryl Miller on TNT, but, but he did admit, he said, you know, I'm, I'm old now. And she kidded him and said, well, wait a second. You always get mad at us if we su even suggest that you're aging. He said, no, it takes me longer to heal. and It's taken a long time for my shin to heal. And it was a concession publicly I've never heard from him. And you're close to him. You yeah, know what he is. It's, it's a smoke okay. screen. It's okay. a smoke well, screen. Do you think so? Let me tell you something right now. <clears throat> Kobe Bryant, I'm going to tell you all something on the air. Whenever I see Kobe Bryant, I extend my hand. I don't talk to him after he loses games. He's not, he's not, not, not playoffs. He's, he's just not the same dude. But I just leave him alone. Him and Kevin Garnett, I don't bother them, okay? But the thing about it is, when you, run, when you walk up to Kobe, whenever I see Kobe, I shake Kobe's hand and I say, what's up, how you doing? He doesn't say hello. He doesn't say how you doing. The first words out of his mouth is, these young boys, and I use the word boy selectively. He uses another word. He said, these young dudes okay. can't mess with me.
First words out of his mouth. Right. He's been that way for two years, and he doesn't stop every single time. <laughs> there's no what's up. There's no how you doing. That comes afterwards. The first words out of his mouth, these young boys can't mess with me. He feels that way, okay? And then he usually goes out there, and he proves exactly what he's saying. So when I look at Kobe Bryant, when you talk about a level of adjustment, lack thereof, whatever the case may be, what I think about is, Kobe Bryant, you're absolutely right. He's not adjusting at all when it comes to closing. Mm -hmm. The game's on the line. Give me the ball. That's Kobe. Outside of that, if he sees that other things are working, he really doesn't have a problem with it. Kobe Bryant doesn't care about this league MVP chase. He was in the running with LeBron and Durant. He, he, he could care less. Kobe Bryant wants to equal Michael Jordan and then surpass right. him. Six hey, rings, well, seven rings. Let, let me That's what he's after. Okay, let me put it in this context. Sure. Say better yeah. with or without Kobe. I can tell you for a fact, the Spurs fear the Lakers with an Andrew Bynum-centric offense more than with a Kobe-centric offense. If if they have to stop Andrew Bynum, you're not wrong. Okay, okay but you're I'm not just wrong saying, about that. Okay, but but if Kobe comes in and is going to shoot 30 shots, the Spurs will say, okay, we got three <laughs> long <laughs> three long athletes we right. can put on. We we got Stephen Jackson. Right. We got the young. Yeah, but what you're okay. missing is the reason why they fear Bynum, a uh, 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 Lakers team with a more Bynum centric offense, is because Bynum is a big boy, and so what happens is it's not the point, Skip. It's the rebounds. It's the fact that he's going to get you in foul Everything. trouble. He will, he will take you apart. When you have a big boy, like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, he was a scoring machine, but he wasn't the type that got you in foul trouble. But you're worried about Moses Malone. You actually, even though the sky hook was unstoppable, you still wanted, Mo you still wanted him compared to Moses Malone because Moses Malone would beat you up physically, and more importantly, he'd get two or three of your guys to foul out. That's what Andrew Bynum is capable of. But when it's time to close, trust me, when Popovich got Fright Night in his heart and his eyes, it's because of Kobe. Yeah. Okay. It's because of Kobe. Okay. You still listen. want Kobe on your team. You, you want Kobe, but I'm just saying, if you switch the whole focus of your offense back to that, your guy, but, but it, it's you, easier to defend but how, you, but how does the Joker shrivel up his face like, yeah, I want but Kobe. But, like, but I want Kobe. Okay, he's Kobe. He's Kobe. Well, he used to be. But it's Maybe the same. used to be. Same? Still? Wait, how about this? You know, used to? Used yeah. to? Well, dude, seriously. What world do you, you're, you're, okay, what wait, wait, wait a second. About? Do you think Kobe Bryant is 10 years ago Kobe right now? I think Kobe, no. I think Kobe Bryant 10 years later is still better than 98.9% the That's not the league. point. That is the point. It your competition, not. your plan against matters. He's Kobe Bryant. Hey, but you're living in the past. I'm living the, in the past? Yeah, 16, you are. The boys average at 27 in the 16th Yeah, game. taking 30 shots a game. Oh, come well, on he's now. He's leading the you're... league by far in shots per game. By far. you just it's shriveling up your face like, yeah, ain't coming. Well, yeah, I am. Well, you, well, you still say you want what? Kobe on your team versus not. Well, yes, come I, on, Skip. How can I not make the That's case? That's right. Well, okay. look, why, why should I even argue that? Do you think he's not going to play? Well, it's the I mean, same way on. we opened up the conversation about, oh, the Heat are 13-1 or 12-1 without Dwayne Wade. It's like you still want him on your team. Well, Dwayne Wade my is point, the most important player on the Heat? My point is that with all those different – it's fine, we'll leave it right there. Okay. But you still want Kobe okay. on your team. I'm, here, here's all I can say is the Spurs will feel a little better with Kobe than without Kobe. A little better. Okay, that's all <laughs> i got to say.